We will read verse 72 of Sri Sri Vilapakas Bhandari. The blissful prayers of Raghunath Das Goswami. Oh, Kanaka Gauri, golden girl. Kanaka Gauri. Mm. Kanaka means gold. Okay. And Gauri means also gold. Beautiful like, like, and golden. Double, so, double golden. Double. Unexpected beauty. Shining beauty, huh? Yeah, unexpected. You cannot expect that beauty there. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, Kana Kadori, golden girl. Can I carefully and happily massage your lotus feet? Sri Radhe. While Sri Rupa Manjari massages the lotus feet of the prince of Vrindavan, Krishna. Yeah. In whose arm you have placed your head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. Can I massage? Can I call you? When I will be qualified to be a knowing my soul consciousness? that I can be in Prakati Deha, come out from Purusha Avimana, all children. Can I can be a qualified for doing this? I can do it in my life. Why I took birth? If I cannot understand this, and I cannot serve to the Supreme, my Lord. What is the use of taking birth? When they, that day will come, that I will realize <laughs> my soul, that I am not a body, no false ego. I am a human, I come for some mission in life. There is some my duty to fulfill, to take human body. I can identify myself that I am a living soul. It is all external. Reality, when I will understand, when I will qualify to be in Gopi Bhav in my soul, spiritual body, in my soul consciousness, and my soul, my identification. When the day will come in my life, right? Rupa Goswami has to massage Radhika feet, he is sitting to massage Krishna feet. Radhika is putting her hand like a pillow to Krishna. When I will see this, the divine couple is lying on bed in this divine consciousness. Without divinity, I cannot understand this. <coughs> My material body cannot understand how beautiful she is. But uh, we are running for just in our false ego, only for material things. 
but I can see the supreme beauty in the universe in this body just to identifying my center then I can see the divine center. Radhe. Jai. In his Swarup Avesh, Sri Raghunath makes a bed of flowers for the Sri Yugala to play on in the Madana Sukkata Kunj. In Swarup Avesh, even not in soul. So it is the basic to identify my position. My position of the soul is my form. Which form I want to be with this soul, male or female always. If I want to massage the feet of female, I have to take female body, I have to become Dasti of Radhika, my servant of Radhika. When this will happen to me, that she will accept my service for massaging her feet. Right? Mm, beautiful, Guru. It's a prayer. When this day will come in my life, when I will be qualified for this, when she will accept me like this. Material things all are temporary. My body is temporary. Everything is temporary. Today is there. Tomorrow will be not there. Mm. Yeah, come go be not. You also share. I'm only sharing a little bit. No. I'm like a river. <laughs> Yeah, naughty boy. <laughs> naughty boy. <laughs> In his. You are naughty boy. Pavesh. I started. Yeah. Also, I want to And Tarun Govinda also. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Dandavat to all. Dandavats. Tarun Bhaiya. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Jananda Maharaj. You see, Prasant Bhaiya is also. Jai Prasant Bhaiya. Jai Ho. Jai Ho. Jai Radhe. Now you share. In his Farupa way, Sri Raghunatha makes a bed of flowers for the Sri Yugala to play on in the Madana Sukkada Kunj. Yes. And he brings them to bed, to the bed. Madan Sukkada Kunj, where Priya Pritam, feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. Madan Sukkada Kunj. Yes. Well, my Radha Mohan is resting, that is Mother. Mm -hmm. Much, uh, yes, it's not limited to one place. <laughs> Where they are resting is Madan Sukhata Kunj. That is the rest. Mm -hmm. well, is all, that is Madan Sukhata Kunj. Where Radha Krishna is living. Sleeping, resting. That's the Madan Sukhata
in yoga feet also is there, but my yoga feet, where my Radha Mohan is sitting, is yoga feet. Where your sister there is staying and sitting and calling us, that is your feet. That is to meditate. And where they are left is the Maran Although the bed is made of stemless flowers, it will be able to tolerate the powerful motion of their meeting. Yeah. When the aspirants my thing, greedily hear, chant about and meditate on the expertise in devotional service of the eternally perfect kinkaris. Wow, again. Aspirants greedily hear, chant about, and meditate on the expertise in devotional service of the eternally perfected kinkaris. They, what, is, yes. what is the devotional service? Of the kinkaris. Eternally perfection is the devotional practice. How to get this perfection that I become pinkish dust? What I do to effort, what sadhana I do to make self, myself perfect to her become dust? Eternally perfect pinkish is the sadhana. External work, what we are doing, nothing result will come. Mm. Wasting my time. See this line again. When the aspirants greedily hear, chant about. We hear and chant about with bhajan and kriya. My bhajan and the behavior both should be one direction. Why not taste his bhajan? Because I do A and think B. Kriya is different, that work chanting is one different. That is, when I do bhajan and I do kriya different. So bhajan means with bhajan kriya. That is bhajan kriya. Perfect. It's an imperfect bhajan. Perfect bhajan goes with the bhajan kriya. Understand? Yes, Guruji. Kriya? What is needed for the perfection, Guruji? Perfection to I identify that I am living soul. Uh, my center is this, and this center can get form. If not form is there, is the Maya word. So that means only identification with the soul is not enough. No, it's a Maya word philosophy. So, uh, anyone can identify my perfection will not there if I not know my sarup and not practice in that. It's a maya bhav. Without form, anything you do is a maya bhav. So, we need form. Baba, Baba will explain in like two, three sentences, Gora Baba will explain your question. 
It will come in maybe one, two minutes. Yeah, you see? Did I see? So, so see the answers. Yeah, go on. When the aspirants greedily hear, chant about, and meditate on the expertise in devotional service of the eternally perfect Kinkaris, they will become qualified to enter into Manjari Baba Sadhana. Say, Gopi Bhavamrita Yara Loba Hoy. Veda Dharma Loka Tvaji Se Krishna Bajoy from Chaitanya Chaitamrita. Anyone who becomes greedy for the nectar of Gopi Bhav will give up social and Vedic dogmas to worship Krishna. Social and Vedic? What does it mean? What you do activity in the social life. And Vedic and Bali was the teaching of the scripture. Give up both. <clears throat> yes. In means, Vedic injunctions, rule means, and regulation. Means Bali. Give up Bali. Oh. Mm. The gopis give up everything. Show me the line. <laughs> 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 Again, it is very. Uh, but this is when you're not in Bunas anymore. No? Anyone who becomes greedy for the nectar of Gopi Bhav will give up social and Vedic dogmas yeah, oh, oh. <laughs> to worship Krishna. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Dogma is a dogma <laughs> <laughs> that controls us not to go for this. Mm -hmm. Right, Suriti? Yes. <laughs> Suriti is the practice of that. And all we are doing is a dogma. <laughs> mm. Devotional practice must be mainly in allegiance to the Anugamya, a person who worships in allegiance to the gopis is called an Anugamya Gopi Jana. And the practitioner of Manjari Bhav is a gopi who follows Shri Rupa Manjari and Rati Manjari Gopi Jana. Yeah. First, you have to be Gopi. What is Gopi? Gopi means soul consciousness. Not so specific. Not, not so specific. Gopi means specific. Now you have to decide you want to be a Saki, you want to be a, a Manjari. When you want to be Saki, that is different way, I don't know. <laughs> but if you want to be Manjari, you have to follow Rupa Manjari. Yeah. Yeah. Then Rupa Manjari will guide you. Rupa Manjari alone, not your Guru Manjari. And what he gives, Rupa Manjari will help you how to be practiced. That. that is your sarup. Guru Manjari Mahasri is very important. Mm -hmm. The aspirants should lay the ground in their hearts for the cultivation of Gopi Bhav. Now, come, now comes the explanation, Gorasundra. This is very beautiful. Wow. So, Gopi Bhav is like the basic, basic. Yeah, no, to start. now Anandas Bhavaji. Now comes 
a new Radha Nuga devotee who is not blissfully and easily able to get a clear vision <coughs> of this Siddha Deha or who has difficulties with the practice of smaran should first of all hear and chant the glories of Gopi Bhav. Mm. I anxiously pray for Gopi Bhav and strengthen the cultivation of Gopi Bhav within his heart by hearing, chanting and remembering the verses of Srila Rupa Goswami's Udkali Kavallari and Kapanya Panjika Stotram, Sridhar Goswami's Vilapa Kushvantali, and Sridhar Mahashoy's Prema Bhakti Chandrika and Pratana. It is certainly very difficult to cultivate Gopi Bhav within the heart if we cannot catch the right mood. <laughs> this is the most no. important sentence. This is the Radhe Radhe. Now I understand why you address it to me. <laughs> Karu Baba. <laughs> this is what? Movie. What? No. Understand why you address this sloka to me? This line. No, 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 no. <laughs> you, 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 are, you have been asking. You have been asking how to get it, and here Baba is saying, "Is I am not. I am the same. I have also difficulties, but this means that we have to first hear and chant and pray and listen to the verses, like Gurudev always tells us. Otherwise, there is not a possibility to establish this." And here the last sentence is very beautiful. We have to be in the right mood. If we are not in the right mood, we can hear all these things, but it will not end our hearts. If we are not in the right mood, Baba is saying it is very, very, we cannot. We cannot catch the right mood. It is very, very difficult. So we are very fortunate that we all can be here in this right mood. Baba <laughs> Ki Jai Ho, yes. We are all in this category. We are Jai all in no, this no, category. No. Yes, yes, yes. We all want to follow. Again, yes. You see, Pratan Bhai want to listen again and again. Yeah. Yes. It is important because we need this uh, steps to know the right steps. To Come close, not far. Yes. Then it goes penetrate in the high. <laughs> yeah. A new devotee or Raganuga devotee who is not. Raganuga is not a Rupa Nuga. Yes. <laughs> different, different. Raganuga who start loving way. Stuff Vrindavan moods. Vrindavan moods. Mm who is not blissfully and easily able to get a clear vision mm. of his Siddha Deha or who has difficulties with the practice of Smaran should first of all hear and chant the glories of Gopi Bhav. Yeah. Anxiously pray for Gopi Bhav and strengthen the cultivation of Gopi Bhav within his heart by hearing, chanting and remembering the verses of Rupa Goswami's Utkalika Valari, Kapanya Panjika Stotra, Shidas Goswami's Vilapa Kuspangli, and Sri Thako Mahasaya's Prema Bhakti Chandrika and Pratana. It is certainly very difficult to cultivate Gopi Bhav within the heart if we cannot catch the right mood. Mm. Srila Raghunath Das Goswami writes that the main means or way to live in Vrindavan and to serve the Sri Yugala there is to remember Sri Rupa and Sanatan with love. Through the five Rupa and Sanatan, 
Rupa is first Sanatan. Why? Because Sambandha has to be fixed. Sambandha is not fixed. <coughs> Your Sambandha has to be fixed. Our Sambandha is fixed in the family life, material life. <laughs> this Sambandha will not work. They are important for me. This Sambandha will not work. Sambandha which you yesterday, 24-7, this I learned from Anandas Babaji, one of the disciples. What is his name? He's Russian. Yugala. Yugal, Yugala. He said to me 24-7, 24-7, three times, four times. I said, I don't understand you 24-7. 24 7 when a one minute, five minutes, you cannot give energy to think out of that. It's 24 7. So, I, my children, my family, how, why you not? I will give time to think on the first has to be fixed, Sambandha, with your yesterday. And you have to feel this, that is all his expression. That is Sambandha. And it comes from the mercy of Sanatan Goswami. Mm. This is Sanatan truth. That is it. All existence of the living being is related because of Radha Mohan. Mm. This Sanatan truth make you sambandha. That sambandha will come when I will realize this is to reality to do with my yesterday. And when the yesterday is fixed and you see everywhere your yesterday will have a living wind, you love more than others. Then you not see individual, that person, you see your yesterday everywhere. Wherever I look, I only I see you. That is Eastern, Sanatan. It comes Sanatan because of that. If the Sambandh is not fixed, you see the bodies. Then you come to the multi consciousness. And he said, You see the your Easterday, your Swamini, your Shama Shunda means the lover of your Swami. Both are in the main and they, they are the center and all his family. Mm -hmm. Then you love more because of him. Before you are loved because of some reason. Mm -hmm. Now you love divine. Mm -hmm. You don't need any return for that. But for this, you have to realize your real it's position also. Yes, position. No? Position without not working anything. <laughs> position will also, first you, yesterday will come, then position you need. I want to be close with you and I want to serve you. And your service will reach to every everyone. So, I serve to serving only one to you. All service is there. Mm -hmm. Your vision will be divine. So I also see also my Ishtadev in myself. Right? When I see Ishtadev in every living being, so it is also in my heart. Ishtadev, I see. When in the center, I have to fix the form. Form means form. Mm -hmm. You cannot many, many Radha and Krishna is there. Highest center has to be fixed. Mm -hmm. And the what center you will fix? Some, some Krishna is different, some Radha Rani is different. You have to come to the one form. This is the eyes, this is the nose, this is the face. Then your face and eyes and nose will come. Food. 
everything. When you you not meditate there, your form will not come. That has to be one point. That is Kirtanistha. And that must become Sanatha <coughs> Goswami, Kripa. In Satakdeha, when you desire this, then Avideha coming in the outer and inner practice is good. Then you got the Pariyoja. This is the base, then inner thing is Avideha. Avideha means divine in a spiritual body. Is Avideha. But I understand what Baba is writing, listen. So he says that Sri Das Goswami writes that the main means to live in Vrindavan and to serve Sri Yugala there is to remember Sri Rupa and Sanatana with love. This is Mana Living in Vrindavan. Mm -hmm. Main thing. Without living in Vrindavan. And a cool, favorable circumstances not come. Living in Vrindavan, this is the place of Radhika. What you can realize here in one day, it takes one year out of Vrindavan. This, means this is my experience. Close to the fire. Yeah. I say I tell you something. When I come to Vrindavan, I have no taste for Vrindavan. I have a taste in material things. My mind goes there. But living in Vrindavan, this taste change in my life. The Vrindavan gift is so much, you are, cannot accept it. You do anything and how do you keep your body? Your all desire will change one day. Uh, and the Vrindavan is a calm day you now. Living here, you think anything, you <coughs> like a calm day you, know. you can go to the cow and anytime you want to take the milk, you can take it. It's a calm day, you know, place. Wishful Kal tree. Yeah, wishful tree. Kalpatam. It's not possible out of Buddha. <laughs> Impossible. I don't know. I'm ready. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Out of Vrindavan, I don't do <laughs> idea. <laughs> you are lucky. But out of the mood of Vrindavan, no? Yes. Yeah. Raja mood we can also keep. No, no, no. no. You come. Like somebody comes here and he has a thinking of Germany or America or Europe. Or Austria, then he is not in Vrindavan. Mm -hmm. His body is here and he is living out of Vrindavan. 100% you have to land in Vrindavan. Mm -hmm. Like Jananda Maharaj came here, he was 100% landed in Vrindavan. He mm -hmm. was at that time. You see that? No. Yeah. Oh, mind, listen, listen. If you want to live in Raj with great love, birth after birth, 
And if you want to attain the service of the youthful couple of Braj, Radha, Krishna, then always lovingly remember and honor Shri Swarup Samada, Shri Rupa Goswami and his devotees. As well as Rupai Sarup Damodar is a Lalita. Mm -hmm. Rupa Goswami is a Manjari. Mm -hmm. He is the teacher of Manjari Bhav. Lalita and Manjari. Mm -hmm. Rupa Manjari. as well as his older brother, Sanatana Goswami. So these are our relatives? Or no, no, they are teaching and I accept it or not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Only uh, I'm listening from here, here and checking out from another. <laughs> I'm practicing in my life or not. I get it, I can take it or not. Mm. I I am in in the why is Sarup Damodha? Means I am in the circle of Laita Sakyana. I am in, in the circle of Rupa Manjariyana. Well, out of uh, my mind is going out of this. Yeah, this is the next sentence, Guru. By always remembering them, one Swarupa wish will become strong and swallow one's external consciousness. They swallow. They swallow. They, yes, because the solemn is our false ego not want to be accepted. My ego, false ego. So, like Kralvia, he is not ready to accept. He wants to keep it in identification of body and senses. When my false ego will not follow by their mercy, I will never be free from them. This false ego has to be sorrow, man. <laughs> this is the main problem. My false ego. This is. Uh, yeah. I mean, he said, as a soul, so do you believe? Why you are seeing, you are talking about the soul? So you see the soul. You see, I saw you, my pure body. Mm -hmm. So beautiful you look. And your eyes, nose, and mouth is good. You look good. Your senses are all active. Use the senses. You live in your senses and body. Find your way in this material world, what you are suffering for. <laughs> <laughs> he is bringing you to more suffering. This is a false ego, because he ignored to accept the reality that you are so. You see? Vrindavan helps you for this, mm -hmm. honestly, mm -hmm. easy. So it's a great enemy to the false ego. Yeah, because you know, he's a forest. <laughs> forest, oh, what you can do with it? <laughs> Vrindavan is a forest. <laughs> running for it. Playground, day. yes, run around his playground. Playground, and this is the forest. In forest, <laughs> you go, you can cut the tree or you can take out the fruits. It's a forest. 
Mi è caduta completamente la connessione per qualche minuto, ma mi sentite adesso? Mi risponde qualcuno, per favore? Sì, adesso si sente. Ok, grazie. So I was remembering them. Once Varupa Vesh will become strong and swallow. Quando ci si ricorda sempre di loro, la propria Svarupa Vesh diventa forte e riesce a far sparire la coscienza esterna. La coscienza esterna. Okay. She just fell out from the translation. Stanno disattivando il mio video, il mio microfono. Vediamo, speriamo che non lo facciano più. Raj Bihari, Raj Bihari. Shri Krishna makes even those who do not know how to love, love. How to love? He create to love. He create. Because if you have no love, how he do the play? <laughs> he knows how to to make you to love. Mm. With, with, the sweet, with the sweetness of his flute playing. The sweetness of his song, the sweetness of his pastimes, and the sweetness of his love. He infuses praying even within the trees, the wines, the animals, the birds, the stones, and the water. You see? He infused in the animals. In the tree, what about us? We are even more was than tree of animals or what? Mm -hmm. what we are. Only Brindavan give you this. Read again this one. Raj Bihari, Shri Krishna makes even those who do not know how to love. Love with the sweetness of this flute playing. The sweetness can bring the love. Mm. This is the beauty of sweetness. Any condition, the sweetness is happening. I know except, but his sweetness not changing. I don't like you, but it's sweetness after that you say. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see you, but it's sweetness will make you to attract to it. Why not you will see me? You will do some behavior that you have to. This is his sweetness. So he become not yours. Without not doing, and he want that you do that. And <laughs> mm. the sweetness of his love, he infuses prema even within the trees, the vines, the animals, the birds, the stones, and the water. Oh my God, he's stone out. <laughs> if somebody says stone, I am a stone. And if you are stone, then you will really be stone. <laughs> Your stone heart will be melting. This is the greatness. Greatness. Adaram Maduram. He is saying, and I cannot move when he is saying, and I see that. So sweet. Indeed, Govinda's matchless sweetness 
madams, all the moving and non-moving living entities. Govardhan is a very good example that stones are filled with love and love. Mm. Yeah. So much mercy. Yeah. <coughs> Why the Acharyas are giving Govardhan to worship? Mm. Why increase your sense desire? Increase your sense desire. Are a whole world that is decreed your sense desire, <laughs> and a Guru they will give to increase your sense desire. <laughs> this is good. Increase your spiritual sense desire. That will cut your all material sense desire. This is the beauty of God. Higher taste. Sattva Bhagavan is not there, I can say you. She's mad after getting uh, Govardhan, he wakes up at two. And because of him, I have to wake up at two. <laughs> <laughs> My God. And he. He wake up and he start chanting. Careful. And whole day he is chanting. Mm. You watch. Who said to him? <laughs> and doing Govardhan Puja and every day bringing nice, nice offering of them. <clears throat> so nice. He said, my life is changed. Yeah. Not changing, change. <laughs> my God, don't. He's changing my life. <laughs> In some places, good if we can also find in Vrindavan melted stones. Yes. No? Melted stones, melted. Where the footprints of yeah. Krishna mm -hmm. or Raja, some yeah. temple here we can see. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu temple. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Right. So, huh? Now we come back to the Leela. In the conch there is a bed made of fresh petals. This is the Siddhanta. <laughs> Siddhanta. What you live, right? Eh? Of Raga Siddhanta. Mm. This is the Siddhanta of meditation. Mm. What Anandas Baba Ji said, mental, mental, concocted body, mental, religious, huh? material, material, mentally conceived, spiritual body, mental, conceived, spiritual body. One week, ten days, one month, I cannot say. Is the word mental? <laughs> when I realize this is really mental, if your mind is there and you want to do this, this is not working. Forget yourself. Is the mental conceived? Spiritual. A spiritual body. Mentally conceived. Mental. Where is your mind? That will conceive. If I my, your mind is in Delhi, you cannot do hair anything because you are thinking there. When you are living here and you are mentally thinking for Radha and Krishna Mohan, you will conceive some service for him. Right or not? If you think for your spiritual body, 
that you will conceive, you will identify this as my spiritual body. No, 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 I am not Krishna Sakha, I am a Dasi of Radha. Mm -hmm. Then you will listen the books and you will get it by the grace of Guru Prabha. Right, why? Right. Yes, yes, no, yes, yes. In the Kunja, there is a bed made of fresh petals and the pillow made of flowers. So, mind to keep them. What is the pattern? Keep your mind there. Bed, see the bed. See the flowers, how it's lying. All has to meditation. It's a process of meditation. It's all meditation. Read again. In the Kunja, there is a bed made of fresh petals wow. and a pillow made of flowers. Wow. Jama Sundara keeps his head on this pillow while Swamini uses Rajendra Nandana's left arm as her pillow. Wow. Sri Rupa Manjari has lovingly given Tulsi the service of massaging Radhika's lotus feet while she herself sits on the bed and massages Rajendra Nandana's lotus feet. Yeah. After they have made love, Radha and Mohan lie down facing each other on their single bed, sw sweetly smiling and looking at each other and whispering so many romantic words to each other. Sometimes they dash against each other while they speak to each other. They have lost notice that the maidservants are massaging their feet. Rupa and Tulasi understand their mood and softly massage their feet while listening to their sweet words and looking at their sweet forms. Here the mantras are clearly in advantage over the Sakis because they can render such intimate service without shame. Radhe Radhe. Yes. This is a very, very important and very, very deep point, if I may, may say. It. Sure. Because here we can see actually the difference between the Sakis and the Manjaris, because the Sakis, they cannot be in this position like the Manjaris, like Rupa and Rupa Manjari and Tulasi Manjari are in right now. The Manjari, this Manjaris can do this after they have this uh, Samboga, but the Sakis, they cannot do this. This is a very, very big difference. And this is actually our good fortune that Mahaprabhu gave us this position. We are now hearing this 
This is not even to be heard by the parents, by the brothers, by the sisters, by the friends, and even by Lalita and Vishaka. They cannot enter there. So this is actually the special position of the mantra. This is very, very, it's a very deep and very important point. Very elevated point. Read this line again. Here, yeah. the mantra is a clearly an advantage over the sakis. Advantage over the sakis. Mm. This is the advantage of the mantra that they can be in Nevrata Nikunjavs in the side. Mandiri, Sakhi cannot go. Mandiri can go. This is the mercy of Chaitanya. Tanam Bhava is perfect. Yeah. Maharaj. Maharaj. I pray that. Yes, good day. So, this bus describes Unnato <laughs> Jodaras. So how we can, we could meditate the seva of Swarupabesh as Manjaris. I'm just uh, hearing and uh, just so sweet. Um, So Tarun Baba's explanation also very nice. I would like to hear also. So Tarun Baba, you could explain something. Unna to Jara Rasa. <clears throat> you you add if some if I miss something. Unna Chwala Rasa Bhakti Swa Sri Yam. So before the time of Sriman Mahaprabhu, the, 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 all rasas have been there. All five rasas have been there. Madhurya rasa has been there by the, and they have been mentioned by poets like Vidya Party, like Chanditas. They all mentioned love of Krishna as a female lover, but up until the time of Sriman Mahaprabhu, um, and never it was to be known what actually is Unatu Chvalo Rasa Swabhakti Shriya. So when Mahaprabhu came, he came uh, because of these three famous reasons to experience the love Srimati Radhika feels. And sometimes even he fell into the mood of a manjari. So this new concept, this very, very special concept of Manjari Bhav was not ever given before. Anarpita Chiram Chirat, was never given before by any Acharya, by any poet, by any guru. So when Mahaprabhu came, he gave us the possibility to enter a very, very special circle, let us say, between the, go the girlfriends of Radhika. So the Saki Bhav has already been there. But Manjari Bhav was never spe spoken openly. So Mahaprabhu, he came to give us especially this Unato Chvalo Rasa Svabhakti Shriyam, this very, very brilliant, the highest taste of Madhurya Ras lies at the feet of the Manjari. So this most brilliant, Unato Chvala means, Ujvala means the highest brilliant shining Rasa comes from the hearts of the Manjaris because they are so close to Swamini that only they can experience this. And we have been made so fortunate by Guru Kripa that we also can experience this wonderful Unatut Shvala Rasa Svabhakti Shriyam. And this word, this Svabhakti Shriyam, also 
tells us that it was never given before because here the word Shri means Radhika. So Sva Bhakti Shriyam, that is actually the gift of Mahaprabhu, that this was the, the, lotus, the service of the lotus feet of Shri, of Srimati Radhika. This Bhakti to her lotus feet was never given before in the mood Mahaprabhu came to give us. This Unatuchvala Rasam Sva Bhakti Shriyam is this unprecedented and never before given gift to be able to follow Rupa Manjari and Rati Manjari. This is actually Svabhakti Shriyam. This is the highest mood a Jiva can experience by the grace of Guru Kripa. So this Sunato Chvalarasa Svabhakti Shriyam is actually the most potent and the most highest gift any Jiva can experience. So this is my what I heard from Baba, this example that this is a, this, this shining, this shining love can enter only into the heart of the most selfless, and the most selfless persons are the kingaries, and therefore we should also try to follow our Guru Manjari so that our hearts can also capture this Unatuchwala, this brilliant, brilliant rays of the moon of Swabhakti Shriyam. And this is only possible by Sadhu Sangha and Guru Kripa. This is what I um, can I, I can say in a humble right. manner. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. All learn and practice. Yes. So here the mantra is clearly an advantage over the Sakis because they can render such intimate services without shame to Lassi and Rupa deeply relish the sweetness of the Yugala's erotic pastime. I see their beauty and I hear their words that please the ears and the eyes of the Sakis. In the, the press of the Sakis. This Saki is not Saki. No, the friends, the mantras, yeah. Mandiris. Yeah, we can. In this, in this uh, context, yeah. Saki means friends. Yeah. Baba says the next line, Baba explains. Yes. In the presence of the Sakis, means the bigger gopis, there is some hesitation. Hmm. But the Manjaris are non different from the Yugala in feeling. So they feel no hesitation at all. So the Manjaris are non different from the Yugala in feeling. So they feel no hesitation at all in their presence and in their services in their presence yeah sorry may i may i ask a question sure welcome and could you please help us and explain us how does it work to follow a mandari <laughs> Yeah, this is this is a very 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 beautiful question. Um, how to follow the footsteps of a manjari? It's a very simple but very difficult. <laughs> um, the the simple point is we have this manual here in our hands. Suniti has the manual in our in a, in her hands. So. Actually, if you really want to be like a kinkari, Baba told me, I said this uh, weeks before, there are two ways 
two act like a kingaries. So one yeah. is in our Sadaka wish, yeah. and one is in our Swarupa wish. So how to act like a kingaree? Baba told me when I asked him how to how to do this in my normal life when I go to school like a teacher, when I go to when I do this in my daily life, and I'm a very arrogant person and very proud person so this was good and important to hear from me that actually <clears throat> kingery path means that i see everyone as a master and i serve them so mm -hmm. especially in my role as a teacher everyday life you have mm -hmm. to see the children and the pupils and the students as someone who you serve your family members and everyone your elders this attitude of serving is actually what means to have manjari bhav. This is in daily life. So you, for, for example, Sudevi, you are for me an example of sevak bhav. You are, have, you are such a wonderful seva uh, person. So actually you embody this for me personally. You embody this mood very nicely. That means to you are very selfless. So a selfless person can very easily adopt kingery bhav. So, and in the spiritual realm, when we are doing sadhana, when we are doing manjari bhav sadhana, there is no other way, there is no other way, there is no other way than to read Vilapakusa Manjali, because in this book, you can see all activities are there. Even rinsing, or even rinsing, even rinsing the toilet, even rinsing the toilet, Raghunath Das Goswami is using his beautiful manjari hair to clean everything in the bathroom of Radhika. So from this menial, very small and humble service, you can reach up to decorating Ma Swamini's hair with the jewels and how they are bathing her. So these two things always must go hand in hand. You have to exist in this material life and and adopt, Baba told me, you have to see them, that you serve them with material knowledge. You have, to, you have to see them always as superior than you. And in the spiritual world, you have to follow our Ajaryas, what Rupa Goswami is writing, what, what Vilapa Kusumanjali is saying. So this is the most important point to really understand and to see this and, and, and meditate about it. And the more we, we are entangled in the material life, the less we have the power to do this. So we have to dedicate some time to read these most wonderful, wonderful daily activities of, of Swamini that we can actually do this. It's not a very, it's actually very simple, but very difficult because our mind is a rascal. And our Sudevi is a real example of Seva. You are right, Tarun Baba. Hundred percent. It's There's another, another question concerning what you said, Tarun. Radhe Radhe, my name is Anuradha. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe. Uh. Radhe. As you said, uh, you, it, you explained very nicely, thank you, and also in a practical way. Um, and as you said, you were describing, I don't know if... You were describing earlier that in the world here we are proud and we are all still this material. I said I am. <laughs> Not okay, you, I, I. I also felt, uh, yeah, I, it is the state of being here. Um, <laughs> that we are still, yeah, that there is still a material mentality, we can say. So then I could understand very nicely how your Baba said, that you that we may exercise in adopting a mentality of service, for example, in school or in other working places or neighborhood. Everything here on the not very easy. It's not very easy, but it's no. you, we have to. <laughs> but this is the way, as I understand you, of um, becoming softer and softer in the heart and becoming nearer to um, this mentality of transcendence, maybe. Um, but when we still Still, I have to say that it, that there is pride and everything in me. And how can I then meditate? Now, taking the other part of what you were saying, meditate about the mentality of the manjaris 
who are totally free from all this pride. But I, I am the meditator, but I am still in a state of being which cannot even grasp or come close to this incredible transcendental um, selflessness and love. This is How this. Can I, meditate? I understand. I understand. Yeah. This is this is a very beautiful question. It can only come step by step. Baba is saying in one. Baba is saying in one explanation, I don't know where it is exactly. I mean, it is either in Brahma Bhakti Chandrika or it is in, in Vilapa Kusumanjali that the Sita Deha, your spiritual form, it may come in very small steps. First, you cannot see it, you cannot feel it. Then you can feel it more, then you, like, like a fog, in, and you can see through the fog, it becomes clearer and clearer and clearer. Mm -hmm. But for me personally, I'm still in the fog, but I know that there is my spiritual form and I know the name of that spiritual form and I know all these essence, essential things which belong to this spiritual form. And if you meditate about your spiritual form that you want to be given by your Gurudev, this is called, this is called Abhiman. This means that you absorb yourself in this form. And so in the beginning, it is very, very difficult, like you said, to, to be there and to meditate upon these pastimes of transcendence in the Radha and Krishna's Leela. But now comes the big but. The more you read these pastimes, like Srila Sadhu Maharaj Gurudev always says, when you read these pastimes, try to do it as an observer like you are, in the pastime like when you watch lord of the rings for example and and you are there and you fight all these things you are in the movie you understand this is the beauty in the material world when you watch a movie you are in the movie so exactly so exactly when you read the pastimes of radha and krishna this creed should also come that you are there in these pastimes and baba is saying it comes like you heard in this verse today it comes very gradually it comes step by step the greed is coming step by step and for this that this can happen there is only one way that this greed and this taste can develop it can only come by Gurudev is saying bhajana kriya by sadhana bhakti if you dedicate early morning time to chanting and doing your diksha mantras doing puja and Japa of the Holy Name, the more you do this and the more serious you do this, the more you can do this, like the, then the question you ask is answered. You understand? The more we try to clean our heart, the more we will be able to see ourselves in this spiritual movie, the more we can do this. But the more I, I, can, experience, I can say from my experience, if I have no good uh, foundation in the morning my life at school i am not their servant i am a very i'm i'm not balanced i cannot see the children as 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 masters then i have to serve them this kingdom root is not coming you need a very nice foundation in the morning of of dedicating your life to spiritual exercise whatever you do and then you will see like a battery like your ipad needs recharging if you charge every morning your batteries you will see that this bath this kingery bath it will come because when you do these activities you please in gurudev and by only by pleasing gurudev all wishes can be fulfilled so this is the very very big thing that you do this dedicatedly in the morning and i can speak from experience if i don't do this the life and the day is not very powerful. But if I do it in the morning and I, I do these things, this path can come. But it is not only dependent on our endeavors. We always have to pray for Guru Kripa, the mercy of Guru. Or, or, without the mercy of Guru, I cannot even get up in the morning and do this sadhana bhakti. But it has to be done and they will see. Try to read now when, 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 when the lecture is finished, take a verse. Take a pastime and see yourself as a third person standing next to them. It it works. It is not. 
It is not very tasty in the beginning, but the more you do it, I, the more it will come up. Thank you so much. Thank you. Sorry, I spoke so long. <laughs> Thank you. It's important that we clear these things because reading about it and how to apply it in our daily lives and how to always get the courage and the you know daily impetus to to stay in this or to if I am feeling out to come in and how to connect. This is very important subject. Thank you, Baba. So I want to okay. give some 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 comment. Yes. Uh, so there is Sadaka Deha and Siddha Deha. And uh, at first uh, we should adopt Guru Dev's feeling as as our life and so mm. because without following guru manjari the mood it is difficult to uh, become kinkari because kinkari means who knows how of of Shrimati or Guru Manjari. So what should be done? Uh, what to do next? What they want to, me to do this? Mm. So this is the Kinkari. So therefore, we have to know what Guru Dev's desire, what Guru Dev's feeling, what Guru Dev want us to do. Mm. And if adopt this feeling, to Guru Dev, then Tadatmika is one feeling. And that that one feeling, we also, same thing we, we should adapt to, like uh, here, Laguna Das Goswami's feeling, Trasi Manjari and Lati Manjari. So this is Laga Anuga. So feeling, Laga means love and feeling. So we try to follow. We, we have to adapt this feeling. And then if we are really mature, become one and merge in that feeling, that is, that is our perfection. So therefore, why we need Guru, Guru Dev? Why, why we need Guru Manjari? Because we try to follow we try to adopt feeling. Therefore, only knowledge is impossible to become manjari. Because we have to adopt feeling, we have to act on behalf of him. So, so that thing I, I, I would like to add. Oh. Wow. Thank, Thank you, Jonathan. Thank Thank you. Jonathan. Thank you. And one thing more, if you feel that you have less time, then uh, come to Vrindavan. <laughs> I just, I just, <laughs> I just remembered when, when Jayananda Baba was saying this wonderful explanation. Actually, it's so wonderful because I remember Baba saying, and also I remember that the Siddha Deya is actually a body which is made of bhav. So all this is so important that we try to uh, feel these things. And, and especially now, it is very, very difficult <laughs> when, you, when, you, when you see the outside world, especially here in Germany, this bhav, this wonderful, sweet mo mood, this wonderful, sweet behavior, it is very, very important to cultivate this. Otherwise, we cannot exist.
So therefore, we need, we need Sajati Sangha. So I think therefore, Guru Devas, you know, Guru Devas planning to, to, to all of, all of the world, Rashika Vaishnava put together and share together and feel together. And then our, our mood is more, uh, more mature, more saturated. In, in, in Manjari Baba. That's yeah. I'm feeling every day. Is good. <laughs> How you know me? It's a beautiful place for it farm. That we are far, we cannot be always together. But this Zoom camera, Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. can be yeah. close and we can share it. <laughs> this fortunate is a very nice way. I'm proud of Gopinath and Ravi that it happens. <laughs> I don't know about these things. When I it happened, then I want that <laughs> to <laughs> coordinate with this Sajati Sangha. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We will do mistakes. Excuse us. <laughs> Excuse me. But it will be beautiful. Circumstances will happen. I want that Mahajan Gata Supantaha. What Mahajan say is a very beautiful subject to share and live in that consciousness. Sri Rasa. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We need more wine. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tulasi and Rupa deeply relish the sweetness of the Yugala's pastimes, erotic pastimes. I see their beauty and I hear their words that please the ears and the eyes of the sakis, of the friends, of my friends. And so the, the two things are important. Yes. Ear and eyes. Ears and eyes. Here and I. Mm. Yeah, has to be drinking and eyes will start talking. When I was very young, one devotee came and said, when your ear will start drinking and eyes will start talking, I say, impossible. <laughs> 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 He said, you think I will come again, then we will <laughs> he come again in 15 days, 10 days. I said, impossible. I was in 13, 14 years so I said, I calculate it is not possible <laughs> that I will drink. <laughs> and air can drink. Eyes can talk and air can drink. Again, sir, okay, ten days after I will come. I said. <laughs> so then, in between here and some friend who said the Rasika pastime <laughs> of Radha and Krishna, <laughs> and we are sitting and listening, he's organized, and when we are listening, we are sitting at nine, eight, nine evening, and we wake up at four, three, four morning. <laughs> it's four. Now I have to go to sleep. And that time the children were small. I hiding, we go and sleep <laughs> on bed. So, so that is happening. So, and. Um, when I wake up, the Mataji will come and say, Where you are? 
no Then I understand here is chakra. Mm. When you like to listen and listen and listen, I you forget all your bodily needs. Bodily needs. Mm. And then when I listen, the tears are flowing like anything. That time. And then he said, when ears are start drinking, then you forget everything. <clears throat> and eyes start talking, when tears start coming, heart is start coming. So this is here also. When I was 13, 14 years old, it happens in Vrindavan. So this is what's happening. I take it mm. I come for something else <laughs> and I, I got some special How you can escape by the mercy of Radhika and Prasad? You fall. <laughs> I was not prepared. I was in the fam family life, in the, in the family life, or not. Even, even that time, no marriage happened. My 14 years. Mm. I go hiding in the grandmother's place. It's not happened. That time, I don't have a kid. Who are the person? Brajwasis, Rasik Brajwasis, Bhakti Guru Dev said, and without Guru Dev, this association. Mm. Who can say this Rasik association? If you're not, what you desire, you get it for now. This is for now.